Hi, I'm Tim from lapsofshutter.com and in this video I'm going to cover the reasons why your TCL TV is flickering and the seven possible fixes for your TV flickering. So we'll start by power cycling your TV. Um, this will clear out any issues with non-permanent memory and is often um, uh, something that fixes most TV problems. So make sure your TV is switched off and unplug it. Hold down the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds and then wait for at least 30 minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors before plugging your TV back in and then switching it back on again. If that doesn't work, then try updating your picture settings. So navigate to the home screen, then settings and go to display and sound and then the picture settings menu. You can try the various picture presets to see if they help. Um, you can also reduce the brightness. Reducing brightness often um, helps if the screen's flashing on and off. But if that doesn't help, then go to the advanced settings and the motion menu. Try switching off LED motion clear and um, reduce blur reduction. You can also change all the, the contrast and other settings um, within advance. If you still need to fix your TV, then um, try removing all your HDMI cables. So there's a, a strong possibility that a poorly seated cable is creating signal noise, which displays as flickering. So just try taking out all of your HDMI and other signal cables. So there's only a power cable going into your TV. Switch it on and bring up the on-screen menu. If the flickering has gone, and that means that there's almost certainly a problem with one of your HDMI cables. So try reseating the cables one by one until you find the one that needs replacing. If your TV is still flickering, then try updating the firmware. So to do that, go to settings, then support and software update. If you're asked whether you want to update by network or USB, then choose network. If this doesn't work, um, and then you'll have to download the latest firmware version from TCL's uh, website and install via USB. For uh, TCL Android TVs, the update is in uh, Home, Settings, More Settings, Device Preferences, About System Update, and then Network Update. And TCL Roku TVs will always automatically update if they are connected to the internet. The next step is to factory reset your TV. So to factory reset TCL Android TV, press settings, then more settings, device preferences and reset and choose factory data reset. Um, you'll see a, you'll need to enter a pin but that should pop up uh, on the screen. Uh, to, to fetch a reset a TCL Roku TV, press home, then go to system, advanced system settings, factory reset, and choose factory reset everything. And again, enter the code shown. If you've still got flickering and it's going across your entire screen, then it's probably an issue with one of the internal boards. So your TV will have a TCON, timing control board, that um, drives your TV's panel. A main board where the HDMI ports um, uh, plug in, and um, which is the, the logic for your TV. And a power board where the power cable goes in. It's likely to be uh, an issue with one of the, the, the components on these boards or with the connections between them. Most commonly, uh, flickering is caused by um, one of the LVDS cables connecting the TCOM board, not being properly connected or getting dirt or grime in the connector. So just try removing these carefully and then giving them and their sockets a good clean before reseating them. You should also have a, a careful look at all the components on all the boards just to see if you can see any signs of burning or any sign that um, a capacitor or resistor has failed somewhere. If it has, then you can either replace the component or just replace the entire board. It's pretty uh, cheap to buy new boards off eBay. 
There's some more tips in the linked article below on uh, how to go about doing all of this diagnosis. But if your TV is flickering in one spot only, then that's a sign of a backlight problem and uh, almost certainly a failure of one of the LEDs in the backlight. So the LEDs come in strips of varying lengths. Um, these are uh, connected together. There's maybe three or four LEDs per strip and they're connected in series. You can replace the individual LEDs on the, the LED strip, um, but if one's failed, it's likely that then another is going to fail shortly. So uh, it's recommended to replace all of the LED strips in your TV. This is cheap and easy to do, although it, um, it can be a little bit difficult to take your TV apart to actually get to the LED strips. So for some tips on how to do that, see the linked article below.